funny thing happened to me on the way to Monday. I ran into Sunday. <laughs> it was nice. You know, Sunday, before Monday. Because for some people, Monday is kind of like, eh. But Sunday is like, eh. For me, Sunday is like, wow. And so, I kind of had a funny thing happen on my way to eh. Monday. I had eh. Sunday. And so that made every day, huh. So instead of my eh, I got huh. Oh well. <laughs> That's just me. But what I noticed was that enjoying my Sunday really gave me a great afternoon of peace. It was unusual, as a matter of fact. I so enjoyed going to church, being at church, being blessed by the church and all those that were there. And the word that went forth, the worship that was, you know, it was pretty good. And uh, fellowship, you know, talking one more step closer to being interwoven. I keep praying that God would interweave us, my wife and I, into the fellowship so that we wouldn't be, you know, somebody highlighted or somebody, you know, ignored, but just kind of, you know, just one of the normal people instead of, you know, bigger or lesser. <laughs> Either way, just normal, you know, kind of like, be nice to have a just scale. But I was amazed that afterwards, when I would have thought to go to the ministry and be overwhelmed with telling everyone about it, you know, like I normally do after Sunday, I was peaceful. I had nothing to say. I was like blank. It's not too often that I'm blank now. That takes in a lot of information. <laughs> and it processes a lot of information. My processor is quad core, <laughs> also known as hardcore. Now it's even more core because we don't even know what kind of thing comes after quad core. We've got multi processing. <laughs> going on from many venues, but really what I enjoyed and what was dumbfounding to me was being found at peace. God gives us a peace that passes all understanding. That goes without saying. There is a, a baseline inside us that when you're dead, you found baseline. <laughs> it is a flat line. <laughs> but besides that, raising the bar a little bit above flat line, there's also <laughs> a baseline that your spirit is at. Because you don't die, though your physical body will have a baseline that is a flat line. And everything above that is life. <laughs> I hope so. Yes, I'm a little nuts sometimes. But your spirit also has a baseline of peace. No matter what happens in your life, you return to that baseline of peace. And so God gives you a peace that passes all understanding. But sometimes, as strange as it may seem, He'll raise the bar up a little higher, and suddenly you'll be going, wow, I'm really not doing anything at all. Hmm. This is new. Hmm. Don't have to do anything. Huh. Don't need to do anything. Huh. Don't feel like doing anything. Hmm. Wow. Sunday was cool. <laughs> what can I say? There is a place where God will bring you to peace. 
And I guess that's why I like what I do, where I am, how I am, the way I am. Not so much that I'm not changing, but that God is changing me into who he wants me to be, but also who he sees in me, which really is kind of a mellow, quiet kind of guy. Where? <laughs> but, you know, life makes you into what your obviousness appearance is to other people. But there's a difference between what appears to be a person and what God sees a person as inside the heart of our Father, where love exists on an even plane to all that are called by His name, He gives us a new name, a new perspective, a new attitude, a new person that we are. And then He makes us into that. Huh anything happen to me on the way to eternity God gave me a new nature he gave me a new name he gave me a new way of looking at life and you know maybe it's not so funny after all maybe what it boils down to is real life in this life as well as eternal life to come never feel inadequate Obey my commands. They are steps in the ladder that leads to success. Above all, keep calm, unmoved. Go back into the silence to recover this calm when it is lost for even one moment. You accomplish more by this than by all the activities of a long, long day. At all costs, keep calm. Be still. You can help nobody when you are agitated. I, your Lord, see not as man sees. Man looks on the outward things, but I can see every heart. Never feel inadequate for any task. All work here is accomplished by my spirit. And that can flow through the most humble, the most lowly, and especially the meek. It simply needs an unblocked channel, and He will move through you without any restraint by you at all. <clears throat> Rid yourself of self, and all is well. Pray about everything, and in everything give thanks. But concentrate on a few things until they are accomplished in prayer, and leave it there. I am watching over you. I always have. I always will. Strength for your daily needs and strength for your inabilities are what I bring to you in everything. Give thanks and be rejoicing and glad in that with which you are coming into. Hourly tasks are provided for. Your day has been planned. Yours is the fault, the sin, if it is left unclaimed and you fail for lack of knowing that I am with you today, forever, and always. I am your God. Huh. <laughs> yeah. That's my daddy. <laughs> He's got a cover. Now, I don't know about you, but I think... Maybe God and I, we're going to see it through all the way to the end.